Are you ready to get back to the office? You may be going. Stay tuned. Yeah. Are you ready to go back to the office? The answer is no. Like most people out there, they love working from home. But last week, Elon Musk came on CNBC with an announcement, and I'm going to read you the quote. He said, anyone who wishes to do remote work must be in the office a minimum of 40 hours. And he said, I mean minimum of 40 hours per week or depart from Tesla. He went on to say, this is less than we ask of our factory workers. So he's telling you, you have to be there for 40 hours a week. And if you want to work remote, you can, but it will be over that 40 hours. So it's interesting because he's not alone. Last week, Jamie Dimon from J.P. Morgan Chase said the exact same things. And I just heard Reed Hastings of Netflix. He wants everyone back in the office. So it's it's really interesting right now because there's like, do we work from home or do we go back into the office? And if you ask CEOs, 50% of the CEOs interviewed on CNBC wants you back in the office full time. It's interesting because the things are changing and people are making decisions now about where they want to work, but those decisions are coming from the top executives. Many companies right now are offering hybrid, but it's also crazy because hybrid is different for every company. Apple says that you must work three days a week at Apple in the office, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. On Wednesdays and Fridays, you can choose to work remote or you can come into the office. And he's hoping people just all come into the office. I just heard where Adobe's chief people officer, CPO, Gloria Chen, made a statement. And I'd like to read it to you and see if you understand it because I had a hard time. Gloria says, we will gather for moments that matter, mixing physical with virtual, with in-person gatherings driven by purpose and design. What does that mean? I have no idea. But Gloria is on the right track. She's trying to get you in there and she wants you to have purpose. I don't know. It's crazy right now. So we are trying to figure out what we're going to do. Howard Schultz, you know, Howard Schultz, he founded Starbucks. Well, he is now back at Starbucks at the helm. And he was just on TV scratching his head. He said, I want everybody back at work. He said, we can get more done. We can be innovative and creative, but they're not coming. And he said, right now, the power is in the people. I can't get them back. He even called himself old school with old school thinking, but he believes that old school thinking is going to create and spark innovation. So where are we right now? How about you? What do you want to do? Did you, do you want to stay home? Do you want to go back to work? Here's a tip. If you're a Gen Z or a young millennial and you're really just starting out in your career, my advice to you is get back to the office. Absolutely, get back into the office. Your career path is a function of proximity. Do you know what that means? That means that you need to be around leaders. You need to be showing them your strengths. They need to know your name and you need to be there contributing face-to-face. -face. Every promotion, think about it. There are four people that are always up for promotion, three or four people. The person that is closest to the leaders is going to be the one that is selected. So my advice right now is if you're scratching your head and you're thinking, I want to work virtually, I want you to think about your career. I want you to get on your new outfit and get back into the office. Hey guys, it's Kara McCullough with another lesson from the road. See you at work.